All right, so the part that we will be creating is the hand wheel, figure 1683. So you kind of see how this was created. It was made in multiple parts that were then joined together. It is a couple of revolves and extrudes. So I'll start with a brand new one. Uh, you can start on the front or the right plane and make your sketch. Go normal to. I'll start with a construction line, which is my axes. Okay. 40. You don't have to put the dimension here, but you will need an overall dimension. And now I'm going to draw my profile. So it looks something like this. Make sure you close the profile off. And now we will dimension. The height is already set at 40. I need a couple of diameter dimensions. Now, if you were to select the outer line, construction line, and then move to the opposite side, it switches to diameter. So I'm doing 40 here, 16 here. I have a height of 22. That fully defines it. I am going to add in my fillet with a radius of 6. So now I can take this sketch here and revolve it. Select the axis, select the face of the region, and now you have a part of the hand wheel. Now the next step is to create another sketch, and this one is also on the front or the right plane. It doesn't make a difference. So I'll start a sketch. And what I need is a circle, which is the hand wheel portion, diameter 20. This is going to end up being revolved, so I need a construction line that's in line with this. And the height of it is 50, so that lowers that. And now I need another diameter dimension. So again, I selected the center, went to the, the axis, moved to the opposite side, and I'm going to type in 140. Now I can take this and revolve. You're going to notice that we're creating a new solid. They're going to be two separate parts, and that is completely fine at this point. Our next sketch is what will <clears throat> end up, or our next feature, is what will join all of this together. So I'm going to start on the, um, not the front plane, I need to draw this on the right plane by looking at the part. So I'll go normal to here. Now I need to draw the um, rib or web or spoke that connects all of this together. So I just went with this hidden line here. Um, I need to know where to draw all of this. And a lot of the information actually comes from this circle or cross section that we originally used. So what I'm going to do is use the intersect tool and select this portion. You'll see that both of those circles now appear because that's where they intersect the plane. Both of these though need to be switched to construction after the fact because we don't need them except for dimension locations. Now I need a construction line that goes over and I'm just going to drop this into the park. Not far enough where it goes inside here and the height of this is at 15. So I'm dimensioning height of 15 and I'm actually going to make this vertical there. Now I need two lines that are going to go off of this. I could offset or I could just draw two lines and make all three parallel. <clears throat> I'm going to go with two lines, one above, this perpendicular here, this one perpendicular, close that off, select all three lines, Make them symmetric, and now I can apply my dimension in between these at 7.
The only reason this is not fully defined is because these don't have an exact location. And I'm just going to make it go into the park. And with that, I can say OK. Now I need to do an extrude. <clears throat> I'll switch back so we can see the color changes here. Choose extrude, sketch 3. I want to choose add. And I'm going to set this to symmetric. And my dimension of this looks like it is 16. Now I want to select merge with all. By selecting merge with all, see how these go from three separate parts to now one part all merged together. I need to apply some fillets to this. And then I will use the circular pattern. So I'm going to select fillet. The fillet size is a radius of 2. And I could select these faces. That should do it. That brought everything together. And now I will use the circular pattern. It is not a part, it is a feature pattern. My features to pattern are fillet one, extrude one, the pattern axis I don't have available, but if I were to turn on, let's say, sketch one, select this construction line, I can now create <clears throat> three instances and turn the sketch back off, and there is the hand wheel.